Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I have before me not one, not two, but three sets of markers. These are the Artex markers, A-R-R-T-X. There is a skin tone set, an 80 set, <laughs> 80 set, and a 90 set. The reason why I got all three of these sets, I was watching a swatching video by Lindsay the Frugal Crafter, and I will link that video down below in the description, where she was doing a more complete review on these markers. And according to her, all three of these sets are different colors. This 80 set is their oldest marker. This is all from the ELP line, A-L-P. These came out first, um, and then they came out with the 90 set, but they are all individual colors. So even though, you know, they came out at different times, and this is a little bit of a bigger set, the colors are different. And then the skin tone set, which again is supposed to be different. So I wouldn't be surprised if maybe some of these are in the set. I don't know that for sure, but we're going to find out. So let me put these two bigger sets to the side. As you can see, they come in very nice, nice cases, and we're going to look at that. They come with a handle. It says Arctic across the top. Now I unpackaged these um, off camera. You would not believe how well packaged all three sets came. <laughs> they come in, of course, the Amazon box. Then there is bubble wrap around each individual box. And it's those, you know, those teeny little bubbles. Then when you cut through that, there is this styrofoam encased around the top and the bottom that you take off. And then after that, each box has the clear cellophane on. So, I mean, it has so many layers of protection, you would not believe. So, yeah, I unboxed all of that off camera because it would have taken me quite a while. So, I have not looked at them, though. So, you can see it has this nice cardboard box, comes with a hinged lid, and I believe you're supposed to be able to, yeah, you turn it around, and then you have your stand for them. So it stands up for you, which is nice. Now, I do see right off the bat, and I don't like it when they do this, we have two, not one, but two colorless blenders in here, which, yeah, I don't care for. So there are actually only 34 colors in this 36 set. We do have this pamphlet. Let's see what it is telling us. Okay, it is a blank swatch chart, which is nice um, if you want to just keep a little color chart in the box. You do have to remember that every kind of paper that you color on, the colors may look a little bit different. So if I were to color in, say, this color chart versus the color charts that I made up on this, just plain printer paper, the colors would look maybe a little bit different. A lot of times the color charts that you get, the blank ones to color in or in that real shiny paper, those colors definitely will look different than when you apply that color down you know, onto a, a coloring book page, say Amazon printed paper. Um, so keep that in mind too. It says, thank you for choosing Artex. For best results, here are some tips for you. Please remove the cap gently. Don't pull the cap directly or roughly. What does it mean directly? You're supposed to twist them. Sometimes it is easier to get off that way. The difference in air pressure between the inside and outside of the cap may cause the ink to leak out of the tip. So you are to remove the tips gently. Please tight, please tight the cap after use. Please store the marker pens horizontally. So we do know that. All right, so I'm assuming you know, each set's probably going to have this color chart in there. Okay, so let's take a look at the markers themselves. They are kind of triangular in shape. They are not completely round. We do have a color number at each end. There is no color name. 
which out of the two, I think I'd rather have the number. Um, much easier to read. So we do have a chisel. Comes to a really nice point. And we have the fine tip. Wow, these are very fine tips. Holy cow, you see that? Hmm, okay. So let's swatch out these skin tones. I am just going to take out the colorless blenders. Now, another nice thing about these cases, they have a grid, a square grid down in the bottom. So it holds them all separately. They don't flop all over. Here's another card. Hmm, interesting. It's like a postcard. Okay. <laughs> Anything else in here? Well, there is. I'll have to get it once I take the markers out. Okay, I am going to put the colorless blenders to the side. I'm going to get out the... Where did you go? Cotton Nigel. The skin tone color chart. 80 set, 90 set. <gasps> Where's my skin tone color chart? I know it's here. Okay, I have some others here because I have others to swatch out yet too. What good heavens? Where did it go? Okay, I'm going to pause and see if I can find it. One moment. All right, didn't find it, so just printed one out. I don't know if it just didn't print when I printed the others or what. So, okay, let's get the show on the road. Zoom you in. Is that close enough? All right, so... Of course, it's going to be hard to tell what's the lightest. We're just going to grab some. So when I do these color charts, um, my final versions, because there are no color names, I won't need all three columns. So I'm just going to write the number in over here. I'll have more room. So this is 320, and we will swatch with the chisel end. Very pale, pale pink. Let me put this on this side so I'm not reaching in front of you guys all the time. We have a 312. Now one thing I don't like, there's no colored band to distinguish between the fine tip and the chisel tip. And I always liked that. On the other markers. A lot of them have that, you know. A little bit darker. We have 324. So it does state on here, you know, it's Arctic. And that does say that it is the ELP sketch marker. Didn't point that out before, so. Quit. <laughs> okay, we have, I'm just going to grab 314. So some very, very pale colors. Three thirty. Wrong end. Boy, I can't believe how little those fine tips are. Wow, these are some pale colors. Holy cow. Three twenty one. Which I suppose can be good if you're, you know, layering and trying to 
put shad shadows and you know you can uh, put multiple layers down 331 it just seems like there's an awful lot of them there's the one that's a little bit darker three even though they're triangular in shape although as you can tell my desk is a little off <laughs> It does roll, or they roll, I should say. Okay, we have, let's just grab 316. So this is going to be a long swatch video. <laughs> grab yourself something to drink, a snack. <laughs> 325 does help that I don't have to write down color names however so that usually takes quite a bit longer 317 yes lot of very very pale colors there are some darker ones but 332 310 315 they do feel nice and juicy 322 the chisel tip is very nice and firm I think when we get to a darker color we'll color in with the fine tip and we'll see what that feels like too 318 because if I do it with a light color, you're not going to really be able to see it anyhow. 323. And let's see. 323. Three thirteen. Oh, that's pretty, and so let's go up here. We have three eleven. Whoops, wrote it over there. Oh well, well that's a pretty pink. We have 319. these now because <laughs> there were a number of marker sets on a really good deals so <laughs> yes I went for it I have a few more swatching videos to go 333 and there were some yeah fantastic deals on those too whoops Three oh nine. Seems there's no rhyme or reason to which way they're in the box. Three oh eight. 
305. Three oh six, if the video gets too long for you, just feel free to skip ahead or fast forward. Three, three, four. Oh, that's pretty. So now we're getting into some of the darker skin tones. 301. 301. Well, that's pretty too. More on the yellowish side. 303. This one 327 and yeah let's color with the uh, fine nib so teeny very nice and juicy though oh yeah I could see using this to get into finer details now the nice thing about fine tips over chisel tips is they don't release as much ink so you also have a tendency of not having the ink spread over lines quite as much as chisel. Of course you got to still be careful but 308 so that fine tip is very nice. Three o two. Well, those two are very similar. Little different, but quite similar. Three o seven. Three twenty eight, and finally three twenty nine, and then, of course, our two blenders. I don't think you need me to swatch them, right? Oh, that's a pretty brown. Okay, so what is this other card way in the back here? Oh, just a thank you. Talks about their social media. Social at Artix.com if you have any questions or concerns. You're on Facebook at Artix, Instagram, and Pinterest. All at Artix Art. Facebook group is Artix Art Community. And they are on artix.com. Okay. So all their social media. So this is what the grid looks like inside. So nice thick cardboard grid to hold all of the markers up straight. So that's nice too. Like I said, their packaging is awesome as you can see. Okay, I am going to pause. I'm going to put all these markers back in this case and then we're going to get out the 80 set and swatch that one one moment okay now let's put the 90 set on the side we will get out the 80 set okay which way does this one open i want to open it upside down because it's not okay so the name goes upside down on this one. Now this is the original set that came out. We do have a couple of things in here again. Same three things as the first 
box, postcard, thank you. And here is another swatch chart. Much bigger, uh, of course. <laughs> so you can swatch all your colors on here. Same tips on the bottom. This is 80A. I don't think there's an 80B. Um, the 90 set does say 90B, though, so that must be what the A and the B are for. Okay, look at the pretty colors. <laughs> oh, so pretty. And again, they're triangular in shape. And it says Arctic, and these are the Elp sketch markers. Again, the chisel and the fine tip. Yes, they are identical as the skin tone set. Okay, let's do some more swatching. So I have my color chart over here. Page one and page two. Ooh, it was a heavy box when these got delivered. Well, two of them came together, and then I had to wait mm, quite a number of days, actually, for the third set. So they've been sitting here for a bit. All right, where'd my pen go? There we go. Okay, let's start with the pale yellows. Now, in this larger set, there is only one colorless blender, so that's nice. <laughs> Zoom back in. And again, because there are no color names, this shouldn't take quite as long as normal. 49. Looks to be a nice pale yellow. That will be awesome if all three sets are unique colors. Wouldn't that be great? There'd be over 200 colors. Whoa. One, two, three. Looks like a neon yellow. Yes. Here it comes. Just a rolling down the desk. Okay, 163. Really nice pale, pale yellow. We have 37. Oops. And we're getting into some darker yellows. Mm, no. That I don't think would be yellow. That's more on the orangey brown side. So, yeah, let's go into the oranges. So, we have a 24. Very pretty orange. 33. Like I said, these definitely are not going to be in order. <laughs> 36, because I keep seeing some lighter ones in here. <laughs> oh my, look at that one. I didn't think it was going to be uh, that light. Wow. Um, we do have some skin tones in here. Okay. 23. I'm going to move my chair down a little bit. It's kind of awkward swatching at the angle I was swatching, but yet keeping it on camera for you guys. Okay. Kind of similar, right? Um, I think... I think I'm going to leave that other one for by the browns. 122. Ooh, this looks bright. Yeah. 
We got that neon. Um, okay, let's kind of go on to, yeah, let's go on to the reds. I'm sure I am missing some, but. So we have 16. Kind of a light red. We have 13. Vermilion, 121, woo, another yeah, bright one, <laughs> that'll wake you up, we have a 10, Hmm, I don't know if this is going to be on the brown realm or a red-orange, but we'll see. 22. Yeah, it looks like a dark orange, doesn't it? Hmm. Okay, let's go into some skin tones, or what look like skin tones. 107. And again, we will look to see if any of these are repeated in the skin tone set. 131, I am hoping not. Can always use more of these colors, can't we? 135. I will link all three of these sets down below in the description. I don't believe the, you know, of course, the lightning deal that I got them on is still valid, but so far I'm really liking them. 29. And I didn't even really show you the case that these came in, did I? So it is the same great cardboard, heavy duty cardboard. Um, case and it's got like a magnetic closure in here so that it stays tight shut and it does have the grid in the bottom again and if you turn it around you know you can it will set up for you so you can now from you it looks like it's flat down but it's not it sits up and then this really nice it feels like leather I'm sure it's not real leather, but uh, that's what it feels like. It feels like a, a leather handle on there. So, and then the same will be true for the 90 set. All right, so we were at 29. Any other skin tones? This will definitely be on the orange realm, 28. Oh no, pink. Pink, not orange. Okay. Actually matched that pretty good, except for this looked darker than that. But okay, let's go on to the pinks then. 138. And even though I love, love, love these cases. If these are all individual, distinct colors, yeah, you know I'm going to be getting one big case for them. But I think I will hang on to these cases because I could put an 80 set of markers in here or a 90 set of markers in, you know, the other case because they are so nice. Now, this is what I like to see. Recently did a swatching where you did not know if it was a 6 or a 9. And here they have a line underneath, so you know it's a nine. <laughs> I 
and we have an 84. Ooh, pretty. And we have an 18. We have a 7. Nice short numbers. <laughs> they only go up to three digits, which is awesome. Well, here is a bright one. 17. Oh, but it's very pretty pink. I was expecting it to be more neon. <laughs> here is kind of a pinkish purple magenta, maybe. 125. Because many of the others seemed quite close to the color. Yeah, that's not near as dark as what I thought it was going to be. Okay, so then I guess we go on to some purples. 147. 147. Nope. Ooh, pretty lavender. Markers, quit rolling. 77. Shows how uneven my desk is. Well, this whole house is. <laughs> Pretty pastel colors. 75. Oh, very similar. A little bit darker, but quite similar. 73. Ooh. <laughs> Pretty. 81. Still on camera? Yeah. Ooh. Pretty. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. Um, let's see, we have 85, might just have to say it on this one too though, yeah, I mean it's pretty, don't get me wrong, it's more on the reddish side of things, isn't it, okay, the rest of them I think are can't tell if this is a real dark red. Yes, I think it is. Put this down here too. Number two. Yes, very dark, like a wine red. Let's go on to the blues. Or is, no, this looks like a dark red also, number one. What do they call it in some of the big 168 sets? Old red? Yeah. Okay, now let's go into the blues. 144. You know, the only thing that could make these sets any better is if they were brushed up. <laughs> so sad. Love, love, love my big sets of markers, but... Oh my gosh. If they're brush tip, oh yes. Gimme, gimme. 183. But I would have never gotten them for the price I got them for if they were brush tips. So those brush tips must be expensive to make. I mean, yeah, they definitely take more to make them than the chisel and the fine tip but I just wish they weren't so darn expensive that was number 67 63 oh 
it's pretty. Um, let's see. We have 71. Pretty royal blue. And 69. Is this our last? Well, it looks like there might be a real grayish one. Okay, 69. A little bit darker. Then it looks, I can't tell if this is a gray. It looks like a real dark grayish blue, so we'll put it up here. Yes, it is. Okay, now let's go into the greens. We have 172. Oh, isn't that a pretty pale mint green? We have 59. When I am all done swatching these out, I am going to give you a little bit of info that is quite interesting in regarding to uh, maybe refilling these. <laughs> 25. This looks like a, yeah, should probably go at the top. Couldn't tell when I looked at this if it was a pale yellow or a super pale yellow green, but yeah, I would say that's more on the yellow side than anything. We have 46. Did I swatch this one? No, I just put it down. 48. Would have came up one marker short and I'd be like, oh, what the heck? Ooh, that's pretty too. Like an apple green. Um, 47. Oh, one minute, guys. I have such a tickle in my throat. Okay, hopefully that does it. I'm uh, sucking on a chloroseptic, so I hope that doesn't uh, bother anybody. Oh, okay. 56. Now my nose is running. 57. And we still have a ways to go. <laughs> 68. And again, has a line underneath, which is nice. Because, of course, again, you know, that could be red as 89. Oops. Well, let's, again, color with, oh, isn't that pretty? I like that color. And yes, these color wonderfully. That, yeah, that is one fine tip. <laughs> one fine tip. 58. Um, well, some of these might, this might have had to go up by the blues, but 65, yeah, and 61, sometimes you don't know where to put them by the greens or the blues, right, because they're blue-green, 
<laughs> that one definitely goes with the greens. 43. Oh, I think that tickle is finally gone. I had to pause a couple times already. It's like, oh my gosh, I gotta do something. And these chloroseptics work so good. So, again, I hope it doesn't bother anybody. And 50. I think we're done with the greens. Oh, that's a pretty dark green. Okay, we are going to go on to some earth tones. Let's start with 44. Again, didn't know if this was just going to be a dark yellow or more on the brown side, you know. Oh, maybe that would go up by the yellows. Quite a bit more on the yellow side. 31. Kind of a yellow ochre. Let's see. 101. But that's pretty. Ninety-seven. That's pretty too. Ooh, I missed this one over here. It's kind of like a reddish color. One forty. I missed it. A pale pink. Definitely doesn't belong down here. <laughs> and 21. Ooh, that's pretty. I love that brown. Okay, let's go on to page a two. We have Forty one. I never know whether to put these kind of colors with the browns or with the greens, like an olive green, either. One oh four. Ninety-four. Ooh, pretty red brown. Ninety-one. Darker shade of that. It's very pretty, too. Hmm. This, I think, was going to be up by the greens. 42. Yes. It's a dark army green. 99. I think the rest are grays. So nice having them stay standing up because... You know, they're not falling all over in the bag by the time I get to the grays. <laughs> so, here we have a warm gray 0 0.5. And we have a warm gray 3. Warm gray 6. And eight. Three, six, and eight. So warm gray three, six, and eight. Just do it that way much faster. Mm. 
one grade six. And warm gray eight. Okay. Cool grays. What? Are you kidding me? Boy, there must be cool grays in the 90 set or something. Because all we have is cool gray nine. <laughs> Unusual, eh? Hmm. Usually, cool grays is what you have the most of. Um, then we have green gray three and five. One moment. Okay, we have a couple of green grays. It's getting late. Honey had to go to bed. <laughs> green gray three, green gray five. Whoops. Okay. And number five. Last but not least are the blue grays. And we have three, five, and seven. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I counted this one outright or not, and I see that I did not. <laughs> Couple rows too many in this chart. Blue gray five and blue gray seven. I think out of all the grays, I love the blue grays. <laughs> And then we have our black, which is 120. And then the colorless blender. So yeah, I had one roll too many. Okay, there we go. So let's, oh, and this insert, let me zoom back out. This insert is not cardboard. This is actually two really nice heavy duty plastic inserts. You see that? I mean, yeah, very rigid. Wow, is that nice? Yeah, I'm definitely keeping these cases. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at these colors. Very nice assortment. A couple of them, again, as in most of your budget-friendly sets. Now, these markers do come out to about 50 cents a marker. You know, you can't beat that. Um, at their rate. Now, I haven't checked their price recently to see if they have gone up. Um, but I do believe um, they are normally right around 50 cents a marker. Um... So, I mean, these are all different. Some of them, again, they're similar. Not a heck of a lot of blues. Is there for an 80 set? Quite a few greens. I think we could have, you know, done without something here and, and given us another blue or two. Nice variety of earth tones. And not too many grays. Like I said, I'm assuming there's going to be quite a few more in the 90 set. And I would think we're going to have a lot more blues and, you know, everything in the 90 set. Especially if they are all unique colors. So, again, I am going to pause. I'm going to put these all away and we're going to get out the 90 set. Be right back. All right, we are on to the final box. They do all, no, I took them off the other ones. I didn't take it off this one. They do all come with this on too. So the other one said nine, or 80A. This one is 90B. So along with all the other packaging I mentioned, you do get this on the box also. 
Ain't she cute? <laughs> so again, really nice case. Leather-ish handle. <laughs> and the lid is magnetic. Flips open. We have the same info in here along with another color chart. Same tips. More pretties. And we do another alcohol, or alcohol marker. <laughs> yes, we do. Another colorless blender. So, let's swatch these out. Here we go again. Okay, so. Here is this one. So now this is the 90 count. You guys sick of me yet? <laughs> Zoom back in. All right. This is the big one. Let's move you over. Okay. Start out with 38. Nice pale yellow. 164. Again, I really wish they had that colored ring around so I didn't have to keep checking which is the <laughs> chisel tip. 175. Don't know if this is on the green side or not. I think it is. Whoops. Yes. So that'll definitely go with the greens. Forty-five. I think my phone is dying because I just got disconnected. So hopefully we'll get through all this before it dies completely. <laughs> 35. So I guess I'm not going to be near as picky about picking them in lightest to darkest. I'm just going to grab. <laughs> 32. I have to redo these color charts anyhow. I'll just stay within the same color family as much as possible. Okay, let's go to oranges. 26. That's a nice skin tone. 134. A little more yellow in that one. 141. Very similar. Um, that one's more pink. Okay, aren't there any orange oranges? Guess not. Well, here's one that looks kind of vermilion-ish. <laughs> Fourteen. Whoops. Yes, it is. 12, a little bit darker, 8, quit it, 8. Oh, much more pink than I thought. <laughs> Fifteen. Pretty red. Eleven. Um, three. 
be real curious to see if these are all, in fact, unique numbers. Five from the 80 set. Because if they are, boy, that'll be fantastic. And four. I think that's all the reds. Oops. Lots of reds. Kind of similar here. And so, okay, let's go on to some pinks. 136. Oh, that's a pretty light pastel pink. One ninety six. Let's get into some of these. I think I'll do this one thirty seven, then we'll do some of the skin tones. What looks to be skin tones one thirty seven twenty seven one thirty two. Oh, very pale. Uh, let's see. 139. Okay. Let's see. 88. Eighty-nine. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, we have a six. And eighty six. One ninety eight. I just had a thought. I bet it's my iPad that's dying and not my phone. Let me see. So I don't have to pause yet again. Let me see if I can quickly see the cord and just quick plug it in here. Sorry for the bumping. Oh shoot, that wasn't it. Darn. I thought I had it real handy here. Is this it? Nope, that's not it. Okay, I'm going to pause quick. Alrighty, hopefully that will alleviate the problem. 87, because I had just charged up my phone again after I recorded a whole bunch of videos before these swatching videos. So I thought my phone would have lasted longer than this. So I bet you it's the iPad because I didn't charge that up. 126. Look at all these pretty pinks. Okay, then on to a uh, purples. 145. 146. 146. Let's go up here. Oh, pretty. Um, let's see. 
82. Oh, I love that color. <laughs> 83. And I think that's it for the purples in here. Let's go on to the blues. 143. 185. Whoops. It's gonna take me a month of Sundays to make these all these color charts. <laughs> we'll see when I get around to it. 182. Because it's not like I can just go through and number them once. No, Lisa's got to do it two, three times. And then they're still not in the order I want, but it's like, call it good. 76. 76. Oh, these are some pretty blues. Let's see, we have 70. Oh, isn't that pretty? 74. Hmm. Oh, pretty royal blue. 72. Okay, I think I'm, oh, here's one, 66. Missed that one. And I think I'm going to put these two up here also. Well, I think this one too. 178. Can't tell if they're more blue or they're more green. Well, that's a real pale, I think, more on the green side. 179. I don't know. That one's more blue. And then 64. Ooh, that's gorgeous. All right. Then we go on to the greens. We have 171. And 174. There are quite a few additional greens in this set. Those two are very similar. 173 has a little more yellow to it. 166. So this set has a lot of really pale greens. So there's another one. They're all three so similar. 167. Yeah, all four of those. 124. Now that one's quite different. <laughs> 55. Um, 
54. And 51. Pretty dark greens. Okay, then we get into the earth tones. Wasn't sure if this was going to be a yellow. The more I'm looking at it, looks like it will be. 109. Yeah. Well, could be a skin tone too, couldn't it? Um, 34. Again, by just looking at the color on the end, yeah, that'll definitely go with the yellows. Sure thought it was going to be darker than that. <laughs> really hard to tell by looking at the colors on the caps, right? 133. Now this may go over by the oranges. I'm not sure. Oh, skin tones. <laughs> 142. Yep. Let's see, we have 103. One sixty nine, one hundred, and we're on to page two. I'll turn this over so the colors from my blotter sheet isn't coming through. One zero two. Ninety three. Ooh, I like that brown. 95. And 90, no, there's a couple more. 96. Ninety-two. Ooh, that's a pretty dark brown. And then I believe all that's left are the grays. So then we have ninety-eight. Dark, dark chocolate brown. Pretty. Okay, let's go on to the warm grays. So we have warm gray one, two, four, and nine, and five, and seven. Ooh, lots of them. So warm gray one, two, four, five, Seven and nine. Okay, so here is a warm gray one. Warm gray two. Warm gray 
four. And five. Seven. And warm gray nine. Okay, let's go into the cool gray. Now remember in the other set we only had the one cool gray. Yeah, it makes up for it in here. <laughs> cool gray 0 0.5. I won't be able to get them all out <laughs> at once. So there's the light one, which is great for snow and shading. Then we have a cool gray 2. Cool gray three. Four, five, cool gray, seven, and eight. Okay, so we have cool gray four, cool gray five. Cool gray seven and cool gray eight. So four. Five. You know, I just noticed even though, you know, these are triangular, so they don't put the little ridges on the end to keep them from rolling. I kind of like that because then when I put them in the marker cases, those little knobbies get caught on the loops all the time, and so they drive me crazy. So I'm glad these don't have them on there. <laughs> and let's see, cool gray seven. And cool gray eight. So yes lot more cool grays in here. Then we have, oh my gosh, I missed cool gray one. <laughs> okay, we'll just throw it in down here. That makes sense to have number one after point five. Okay, and then green grays. Ah, Miss this one too. Cool gray six. So yeah, tons of cool grays. Like I said, that seems to be, you know, the the type of gray that a lot of people use for their shading. So yeah, cool gray you usually have the most of cool gray and warm gray. So then we have green gray one, seven, and nine. One, seven nine. So green, gray, one. Seven. And nine. And again, I think I put one too many rows in this. No, I didn't. This one works out right. Okay, then two blue grays. Blue gray one and nine. Almost done, folks. And nine. And then, of course, we have to have our one. 20. It's always nice to have these extra blacks though because you know they're used quite a bit. Our black. Oh, 
It, okay, now. Now, the grid, again, in this particular pack is that really nice plastic in the bottom. So, yeah, that is really nice. All right, I am going to back, back out. I'm just going to th throw these markers all over. Put these markers up over there. And, again, I'll put them back in order on my own time. Oh, I suppose. No, I'm not going to be able to zoom out. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, again, really nice variety of colors. Again, quite a few reds, though. You know, some of, like, these two pinks, very similar. Yeah, and all these super pale, pale greens. You know, we do have some more skin tones, but again, what I am curious to see. Let's bring over the other two charts. So, if we look, for instance, at the yellows, we have 38, 164, we have 163, and 36. 45, 35, 37. Guess what, folks? They are all unique. 14, 12, we have 13, 14, 15, here's 11, here's 10, here's 3, 4, 5, we have 7, we have 6. Seven, eight, nine. So, yeah, it kind of goes back and forth. Yeah, it, it looks like they are all unique colors between these two sets. And then the skin tone set is all in the 300s. So, we don't have 300s in the 80 or 90 set. So they are all unique colors. Again, you know, some of them are going to be similar. Some of these skin tones are similar to, you know, a few that are in the 90 set. But again, you're going to run across, I mean, you run across that in Copics. You run across that in every set. Um, that you can buy out there. Well, I am one happy camper. Yeah. So, again, I am going to make these up into three separate charts. Um, if anybody gets any of these sets of the Artex markers, and again, I will link them down below. Once I get these color charts made up, as all my other color charts, um, if you are a subscriber, I do offer them to you. Just shoot me an email because I have a lot of color charts to create right now. It's going to take me a while to get everything made. Um, but then I am going to create an all-encompassing color chart incorporating all three sets and put them in color order. So yeah, this is all going to take me a while to do. <laughs> so, all right. For those of you still hanging in here with me, thank you very much. <laughs> or if you kind of fast forwarded to the end. <laughs> now, the one thing I almost forgot, the one thing that Lindsay, the frugal crafter, talked about in her video, and I did give you a little uh, tease earlier about possible refills for these. There is a line of marker called Shinhan Touch Markers, S-H-I-N-H-A-N. Um, I guess, and let me look and see, for instance, don't want to get my head in the way, and the Shinhan they do have colored numbers and names. I just want to see, for instance, like 
123. Hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's fluorescent yellow. Okay. Let's pick uh, 122. Yes, fluorescent orange. 121 is fluorescent coral red. 22 French vermilion. Okay, so these colors are all in the Shinhan Touch Marker set. The thing about the Touch, the Shinhan markers, there are refills. <laughs> so if one goes dry, you can order a refill for it. And the Shinhan colors match up to the numbers in these Arctic markers. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> now, I did some searching around. There's 204 colors in the Shinhan, which is about what this all comes to. Um, with the colorless blenders, maybe not quite, but... Uh, yeah, if you have the 80 set and the 70, or the 90 set, there's 170 there. Then the 36, well, 35, 34 set. I mean, you're you're about up to the 204. Um, I did a bunch of looking around for the Shinhan refills. The cheapest place I found them is at Jackson's. And they are $4.84 a piece. And right now, they're everything's out of stock. Um, it says coming back in stock on February 24th. So, but yeah, that this is where I found them the cheapest. They are available a number of other places. Whether it's all the colors or not, I'm not sure. But I thought that was very interesting, and I am so glad that Lindsay pointed this out because maybe we have other sets out there, you know, budget-friendly sets that kind of follow this same coloring system. And to know that you can get refills for them, all you have to do is pull out the chisel, refill, put the chisel back in. Um, some of my other markers especially like my beloved oh hoo hoo brush markers when one of those goes dry it's not an if it's a when that one goes dry I was going to use my Copic inks um, these inks are a little bit cheaper and well actually depending on how many? Oh, 20 milliliters. I can't remember how much are in the Copic ones because now I don't know if you're aware um, Copic refill inks. The, the Copic refills came out in a totally new design uh, last year sometime. So the old design like these were discontinued. Well, the new design, they kept the price the same, but guess what, folks? They're half the size. So essentially your Copic ink doubled in price. And how many milliliters is in this? Can't remember, doesn't it? It should say somewhere. This one still has the label on, so maybe it's underneath the label. 25. There's 25 cc's in this. Um, so with this being 20 milliliters, because now the new ones, yeah, have half this amount. Instead of 25, what does it have? 15? I can't remember. Um, but it's even a little bit more than that. So, yeah, these definitely are cheaper than the Copic refill. So I may actually look at these first before refilling my uh, Ohuhu brush markers with the Copic inks. I do have, you know, a lot of Copic refills, though, so I don't know. I guess I'm going to have to look at my color chart, see if my uh, Ohuhu brush markers kind of go according to this color chart, too. I don't know. But it is interesting to know that there are actually color names to all the colors also. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to worry about that or not on here. I'll have to 
think about that one. <laughs> All right, folks. So, yes, again, I will link Lindsay's video down below in the description. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to find it again. <laughs> and I will link all three of these marker sets in the description also. So, thank you so much for hanging in there with me for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all three of the marker sets, seeing that they are, in fact, all unique colors and that we can get refills for them. Woohoo! Win, win, win. Yeah, the only thing that would make it better is if they were brushed up. <laughs> But anyhow, so yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a terrific day. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.